I was just thinking, how cool would it be to like be an astronaut? Cause then somebody could walk up to you and you could be like, "Hey, yeah, um, I'm an astronaut. I get to take dumps in space. I'll just be, you know, floating up there and take a dump in space. I bet you can't take a dump in space." I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but that seems to be a pretty good reason to want to be an astronaut. For some odd reason, my mom thinks that I learned how to do everything at school. Like, say that, for example, there is a situation where there is a blue Japanese-speaking platypus that has a master's degree in psychology, and it hijacks our truck, and this will be my mom. Okay, Missy, you better fix this. But I'm on a platypus, and I don't know Japanese, and I'm still in high school, and why is a platypus driving our truck? Well, you're supposed to know what to do. What the hell do you go to school for? I learned how to do this. Oh, okay, and what the hell is that supposed to be? How am I supposed to know? Do you ever feel like your punishments are just really unfair? Because I remember at my old school, when I was in 8th grade actually, I brought the Sharpie to school and apparently we're not supposed to have Sharpies. And just for bringing Sharpie, um, they took me to the office and they made me call my dad. And, um... I didn't get that Sharpie back. So my question is, what if they caught me with, like, a crayon? Alright, crayons. All the cool kids have crayons nowadays. Missy, what is that you're holding? No, Principal, it's not a crayon. It's not what it seems. It's, it's a cigar. Oh, how you wish it was. Off with her head! So I guess the moral of the story is, don't take Sharpies to school, or crayons, or pencils, or paper, or in fact, anything school related. Don't even take a backpack to school. What's school for? I don't, I don't get it. Um, and surprisingly, I was more kind of pissed off at the fact that they didn't give my Sharpie back other than the fact that I had to call my dad. Like, my dad, I talk to him every day. I mean, I could talk to him right now, maybe, hopefully. I don't, I don't know. Um, but my Sharpie, that was my sharpie and that's not the only thing they took away they, they also took away my water gun and that's just wrong this night walk the dead in a solitary get inside my ear yeah, earlier this week I actually tried to like shove um another earbud into my ear when there was already like one in there and it wouldn't like go in there and it sucked. Not too long ago I was in humanities and um the class was going over things that we can and can't have in our essays and it turns out that like we can't have cuss words in our essays. It's either that or if we do, we're gonna have to like put all those like number signs and asterisks and all that cool looking stuff um, to replace like the cuss words so pretty much this is what my essays will sound like once at night Sandy Claus and the Easter Bunny went out to Abraham Lincoln a pine cone with rhinoceros and a green lantern encyclopedia the squirrel went bye bye a water full of sand and that's why the sky is blue thank you so let me hear your opinion in the comments below because I think that I'm just going to like ace this next um, essay. It's, it's pretty clear about why the sky is blue and I think that it has like a lot of details that a lot of articles and things they just don't mention. Um, it gives you like the entire story of why the sky is blue and um, it's very um, logical and scientific and stuff. So let me know what, what you, let me know what you think of it in the comments below um, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I like yellow string. That's right. Yellow string. Yellow string. It's string that's yellow. Just like Walmart. A mart for walls. Er, Thursday. The day that's Thurs. That doesn't make any sense at all. But yeah. So, goodbye.